Hey, how's it going everybody? Brad the Guitologist here. Hope everybody had a great and happy new year. Uh, wanted to bring something to everyone's attention. If you especially ship vacuum tubes internationally, apparently eBay is doing something now that is quite alarming. This gentleman on one of the uh, pages that I frequent on Facebook, this is the guitar, the Tube Guitar Amp Builders Forum. Uh, well, this gentleman lives in Canada, and he was having a tube shipped to him from Texas, and it was seized by uh, the global shipping program of Facebook as being inadmissible into Canada. It says, we are writing to inform you that GSP transaction, blah, 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 cannot be completed. The item was stopped at the global shipping center and has been restricted from international shipment. If you follow the comments on, on this, uh, apparently this guy is not the only one to have this happen. Some are speculating that it's an ROHS issue, but the thing is they're going after tubes for some reason, particularly. The guy got a message back from eBay when he uh, inquired about this, what was going on, and they responded, Hello Dan, thank you for contacting eBay regarding the vacuum tube you recently purchased. So they, they are acknowledging it was a vacuum tube so they know at least what it is and plus eBay has a category <laughs> dedicated for vacuum tubes they don't warn that you can't ship them through through GSP um, but they have a category for it and here's their reply I understand you have some concerns about why this had to be restricted my name is Carrie and I will would be happy to look into this further with you today I can see that your seller has attempted to send it through the global shipping program. The item cannot be sent through the with, okay, our shipping partners because it is a restricted item for the program to ship. Restricted item for the program to ship. A vacuum tube? You can't ship vacuum tubes internationally through eBay's global shipping program. Really? When did this begin? This is a new old stock, 12 AU7, I think the guy bought a 6027 or something like that, or whatever the industrial designation is. So it's a, it's not exactly a plentiful tube. It's not being made today. And so you just seize something that's becoming increasingly difficult and more rare to find and don't give it back to the seller and you don't send it on to the person but you give the person money and you wipe your hands of it and think that's okay. Well, that's not okay because what you're doing is you're stealing from the entire uh, glo global AMP community by taking this stuff out of circulation. Uh, I don't know if you're reselling it or what you're doing or if this is some kind of cash for clunkers program where you're trying to you know, offset your carbon footprint by doing a good deed and seizing all the vacuum tubes. Who knows what it is you're doing, but you, you can't do this. You can't just steal someone's property and give them the money and think that's okay because they were they didn't want the money. They wanted the property. That's why they paid money for the property. <laughs> but please understand our shipping partners uh, do have to abide by all custom and import laws for all countries. Um, there are heavy fines involved with importing a restricted item such as the, a restricted item such as a vacuum tube. Okay, first it was rosewood. Okay, so you can't you can't ship a guitar with rosewood across international borders, and this happened what last year around the same this same time. This is like creeping death, guys. Uh, the last thing I want to be talking about on an amp channel is international politics, but here I am talking about it for the, about the second time I think in a year because it's 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 right in our faces. I don't understand what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to sit down, bend over, spread our ass cheeks, and take it. So there was, you know, once upon a time, vacuum tubes were everywhere. It was the technology. Now it's outlawed. Oh, man. This is like carburetors, you know. I mean, how long until it's not only can you not sell it internationally, but you can't buy or sell it domestically? Let me know what you think in the comments on this. Um, is this something that you've experienced? Uh, through eBay's global shipping program? Is this something you've experienced through other shipping programs? I don't ship that many tubes internationally, so I really don't know. But am I going to have to add amplifiers to the items that I don't ship internationally? Last year around this time, like I said, I mentioned that I was going to stop completely selling guitars internationally because th there's no point in trying 
to sell stuff internationally if they're just if you're going to risk having it seized because of some some wood content. Hell, we import all of our vacuum tubes in the United States. So if we can't export them through the global shipping program on eBay, and if that's a canary in the coal mine, then you know maybe it's not too long before we can't even import them. I can understand, like they were saying in the comments, I can understand some vacuum tubes perhaps. Some tube de designations are actually filled with mercury vapor and so forth, but then again, so are half of our light bulbs. <laughs> so are half, and they were trying to promote those. <laughs> And by they, I mean the go our government. We're trying to promote those as a healthy or safe alternative for the planet. Uh, and they're filled with mercury and mercury vapor. I hate to talk about politics on this channel because that's not what this channel is all about. But here we are again, having to talk about it. So let me know in the comments, have you experienced this and um, also what you think about it. Anyway, if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And for now, you all take care.